Hello Creative! It's your Graphics Girl of GraphicsGirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand. And if you don't want to be a designer, but you want to learn how to make graphics that help market your business, your services, your blog, your hobbies, your kids' school functions, the nonprofit you volunteer your time at, the invitation to your next party, even the flyer for when your dog runs away. And did I mention epic Facebook ads and Instagram posts? Really, any form of modern communication benefits from knowing graphic design programs. And anyway, who doesn't want to Photoshop themselves? I know I do. I know I do all the time. So here's some good news. You don't need a degree to earn money with graphic design. And everything you need to know can be learned online. You need to master the graphic design principles and programs, and I can help you with that. Take a minute and head over to graphicsgirl.com. Here's a dirty little secret that no one ever tells you. You don't actually need an art school degree to make money with graphic design. I don't have one, and I've been a graphic designer for over 20 years. Yeah, really. Because designers are hired on their talent, as seen in their portfolio, and a little on their demeanor, as seen in the interview. Now, do I think that having a degree helped me rise in the ranks to creative management where I ultimately made more money? Yes, yes I do. But I also think that a talented designer with an amazing portfolio could land their dream job and do phenomenal work and be recognized as a valuable asset to a company in order to rise in the ranks and be promoted without a degree. And don't get me wrong, I took art and design classes, lots of classes, after I earned my degree. But these were mostly an introduction to the graphic design principles and programs. It wasn't until I got my first Mac and I spent entire weekends poring over art books and the programs that led to true mastery where I could land my first design gig. And having not gone the traditional art school route meant that I didn't have a portfolio to show prospective employers. So I needed to create one. For more information on what should be in a good graphic design portfolio, head over to graphicsgirl.com where I go in depth into really one of the most important things you'll ever need to know. And that leads me to another dirty little secret that folks who do go to art school find out the hard way. You might not even have any work that you can show in a portfolio by the time you graduate. No, I'm not kidding. When I taught a portfolio critique class at a school with a degreed art program, I strongly encouraged my students to revisit all of their assignments if not completely create brand new projects for their portfolio. I did this because it's only natural that one gets better over time and the work done at the beginning of learning graphic design may not be as strong as your later work. Which brings me to another key point. Learning the graphic design programs does not automatically make you a graphic designer. Far from. So let me be clear, not only did I learn the software, but I also learned and appreciated the process and principles of graphic design. In fact, if you have an appreciation for your craft and you stay inspired, you actually never stop learning. 
So in order to get paid to do graphic design work, you don't need a degree, but you do need to know the programs and you absolutely need to know the graphic design principles. Graphic design principles like color theory, balance and symmetry, hierarchy, negative space and topography, just to mention a few. Oh, and art history and a sense of pop culture, just to mention a few more. And I'll admit, I was lucky. I had a sister who had gone to art school and she introduced me to different mediums and techniques, even at an early age when she saw that I had a natural affinity for the arts. And my bachelor's of arts had classes in art history and things of that nature, so I was lucky. But I was also unlucky uh, because like a lot of people, I grew up economically challenged and college was not something that had been secured. Or I can think that I was lucky because the struggle was real, y'all. And that gave me sensitivity, ambition, and a great work ethic out of necessity. In fact, now I believe that art stems from adversity. But I didn't have my college paid for by my family or the government, despite my high academic success in high school. So because my family couldn't afford to pay for college at all, let alone art school and art supplies are extremely expensive, not to mention books and tuition, a career in art was not encouraged. My mom, who is the sweetest mom in the world and an incredibly strong role model who raised five kids on her own, just didn't want to see her baby become a starving artist. So because I didn't go with my natural artistic abilities and take cool art classes in high school, I got myself on the honors track and took courses like AP Chemistry. AP or advanced placement is a way to take college credit while you're still in high school. But chemistry, let me tell you, there are way too many white solids in the world and me and a Bunsen burner are not a good fit at all. Anywho, I tell you all this to say that if you're a creative artist, it will just emerge. You can't hide who you are. So why should you? Do you, boo? Your passion and talent for what you love will rise you to the top of your chosen field in graphic design, and you shouldn't have to worry about money. For the record, as an art director of Fortune 500 companies, I made well over six figures, provided for my family, bought a house, and took multiple trips to the Caribbean a year. So much for starving artists. Believe in yourself and you'll find a way to make that dream job happen. You can do anything that you put your mind to and don't let anyone tell you different. So should you decide not to earn a degree, I'm here to tell you, it may not be a deal breaker in the field of graphic design. Just like obtaining a degree may not be a guarantee that you'll land a design job either. So do something for yourself right now. Head over to graphicsgirl.com and on the home page, click the start here button. It's a quick survey that will allow you to see your goals in black and white because all the answers are emailed back to you. And there's something really powerful about putting out into the universe that which you want and seeing it concretely before you. So do it for yourself. Don't do it for me. I already make a nice living working for myself and I want the same financial and creative freedom for you. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. 
share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Yes! Do it right now. Sir, yes, sir! And don't forget to head over to graphicsgirl.com to get free design resources. It's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm looking forward to helping you design your brand.